When using apt, you may sometimes get a deprecated key warning that tells you that you may have problems in the future if you don't fix the key issues. We're going to take a look at what that message means and how to fix it. If we do a sudo apt update, take a look at the HashiCorp download here. We can see that the package manager was trying to go out to app.releases.hashicorp.com, in this case to get Terraform software download. And it gives us the deprecated warning message, the key is stored in the legacy trusted.gpg. So it means exactly what it says, that the signing key that proves that this repository is the legitimate one from HashiCorp themselves, that key is actually stored in a file called trusted.gpg. So if we're in the Etsy app directory and take a look, you'll notice that this file is in there natively. But that file has fallen out of favor because it keeps all the keys in the same file with the same permissions. If we try to look at the content of that file, we should be able to see the HashiCorp key inside, but if you just try to print the contents, it's going to look like gibberish because it's encoded. So instead, pass this through the GPG program and that will show the contents of the file in a readable format. And the HashiCorp key is inside the file and it hasn't expired yet. The only problem is, is that it is stored in the trusted.gpg when it should be stored in the actual key rings directory. We'll take a look at the key rings directory now. One of the questions that you may have about where do these keys in the key rings directory come from is where are you supposed to get these keys? Well, you always get them from the package maintainer and typically it's going to be at the repository itself. So if you're going out to the app.hashicorp direct repository, the key should be there. But in the case of HashiCorp, and this is just an example, on their website, they actually have documentation explaining exactly how to get the key. And sure enough, it does come from the actual repository address. So following their directions, this downloads the key and decodes it and then stores the output into the user share key rings directory. And this user share key rings directory is common for when the software is maintaining its own key. But you can also manually maintain the keys yourself as long as you just make sure you get the key from a trusted source. And that's what we're going to do here. So I downloaded the key and I put it into the key rings directory. And you may have to create this directory inside of your Etsy app folder if you don't already have this directory. So inside of this directory, I've placed all the different keys that I got from different vendors. So for the Google command line software, gcloud, I got the Google key ring for Terraform, I have the HashiCorp key for the AZ command line tool, I've got the Microsoft key, and then I also put my Ubuntu keys in here. Looking at the HashiCorp key, you should see that it, it has the same signature as the signature that HashiCorp says it should have, and you can check that uh, with the fingerprint command here. So right here, they're telling you the fingerprint, if it's the legitimate key, should be this fingerprint right here. With the correct key ring in place, we're now ready to point the download command to the key ring. And this is going to be in the sources file. There's going to be multiple sources file in the system. There's a native sources file called sources.list, and that's where your Linux distribution's own sources are going to be listed. So if we take a look at that, we'll see a bunch of sources for Ubuntu that are listed in here that are going out to the US archive Ubuntu.com or other Ubuntu repositories to download software for the operating system itself. But we're interested in this particular case in the source for HashiCorp, being that's an external third-party product. 
those are supposed to be kept in the sources.list.d directory, which is where they are on this system. And that source is in the HashiCorp.list. So inside of here, we see that right now, the source is going out to app.releases.hashicorp.com, but it's not pointing at the key in order to verify the signature, which is why the system is defaulting to the key that's inside of that trusted.gpg file, which explains why we're getting the deprecated error message. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that issue. And what we'll do is we'll edit the HashiCorp sources list to go ahead and point at the key ring that I downloaded from HashiCorp. And I've already got the command fixed up. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of the first line and uncomment the second line where I've got the signed by attribute being used here to point at the full path of that key. Couple of notes here. The square brackets denote that you're gonna use one of the attributes for the deb command. And there can be multiple of these attributes in the same line. If you need to express more than one, like say you need to express the arch attribute and also the sign by attribute, just separate them by space. So you could have something like this where you have like arch equals AMD64 and also the sign by attribute pointing at the key, you would just put the space between them. Mention that because sometimes you come into these files to put your signed by attribute into the file and you find out that there's already some other attribute there and you're not really sure what the syntax is. So this signed by attribute just points to the full path where that key ring is located and you just say sign by equals and then the full path. And don't put a relative path here, spell out the entire path, the entire absolute path. When you get done, save the changes. And now we'll go back and we'll do the pseudo apt update again. And that should get rid of the warning message for us.